Hello, young friends. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Group Captain A.K. Srivastava. Young friends, I am You may find it strange, but I am asking a question. आपकी निगाह में आपकी ओपिनियन में एक अच्छा इंस्ट्रक्टर कौन है व्हाट आर द क्वालिटीज ऑफ अ गुड इंस्ट्रक्टर तो यंग फ्रेंड्स आई नो व्हाट इज द आंसर प्लीज डू नॉट ट्राई टू गिव द आंसर और फाइंड आउट एन आंसर आई एम जस्ट शेयरिंग माय ओपिनियन एंड सम एक्सपीरियंसेस यंग फ्रेंड्स व्हेन we were young we were in our school days we also used to have some opinion form some opinion about the teachers about those people who were in the field of education and who were interested with the job of our development be it the academic or social or moral and we used to say always that person is good because that person loves us that person forgives our mistakes that person is so much tolerant to our errant behavior yani jo teacher jo instructor aapke sath pyar se pesh aate hain aap unko acha kehte hain and there is a flip side of the coin also that those instructors those teachers who were a little hard and harsh those who used to snub us for some times or punish us unko kehte the nahi bhai he is not a good instructor good teacher after a few years when we ourselves settled down in the life some of us in the field of education then we started reflecting our own lives and then we found that there is a drastic change about the opinions of at least those people those instructors those teachers who were hard and harsh for us we used to meet frequently during the alumni meet those teachers also used to be there and then we found that the teachers who used to punish us the teachers who were a little hard harsh punishing at this point in time we are having more respect for them though as a student we didn't like the you know the conduct and uh, the you know we, we 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 didn't like them simply friends a person who is your true well wisher need not every time be sweet tongued that person will be sometimes giving you a bitter pill to swallow he will notice your mistakes he may be a little miser in appreciating you or he may be a little more vocal in highlighting your mistakes sometimes the punishments and the remarks received from such teachers might hit your ego self esteem and might disturb you emotionally but if you have paid some heed to his advice suggestions and punishments then certainly you will come out as a better person why i am saying it so and that to on this forum and to those young aspirants who are preparing for their career as an officer in the armed forces friends today in the system of teaching and education teaching and learning the corporate culture the business culture has sneaked into the system or it has dominated the system in which 
today you will hardly find anybody who talks hard hard facts for your improvement for your welfare ab jab main aap se ye baat keh raha hu to iske piche ek chhota sa incident keh sakte hain background keh sakte hain abhi teen char roz pehle i have evaluated a dozier and this dozier was incidentally for a child girl child of my own ex colleague her stories were showing all the unwanted trends which i have covered in many of my videos to count a few they didn't have any connection with the projected picture instead of writing the story on a person in the environment she has written frequently the stories on persons alone irrespective which way they are or whatever is their action in the projected picture themes mostly they were on something which is enjoyable or organizing something like maybe a football match maybe sometimes some issues cleaning the environment etc etc there was badly missing something a task which is slightly challenging valuable or even urgent that she was told to make the stories like this in my opinion friends these stories will hardly project the qualities of a good candidate prospective candidates because armed forces are going to give you the tasks which are tough challenging urgent most of the times when i started giving my analysis and opinion about the stories then i found that she was not all that visibly happy she was not feeling as if she is being given an advice for her improvement rather there was a sense of a little disappointment shock and astonishment then when she got the opportunity then she told ki sir these were the stories which i wrote during my training phase in the academy and i was given 10 out of 10 marks and all my stories they were marked excellent now friends this is where i could relate it with the corporate culture you know corporate business mein kya culture hai you are taken as a customer even in the field of education in private schools mein aap ja kar ke dekhiye a student is lesser taken for being a student or a learner who needs to improve a student is also taken as a customer his parents and the student is taken to be a customer and as per the prevalent corporate culture a customer is always to be kept in good humor customer should not feel dissatisfied or upset even though it must be in his own favor the same thing the coaching academies mostly the coaching academies are also taking you for a customer you are not a student you are not a learner you are not to improve as per they don't take your improvement as the responsibility they feel that they should tell you something about the ssb which should be procedurally correct whether you transform yourself or whether you adopt yourself that is none of the concern this is one of the hard realities and friends let me tell you this is one of the reasons why 
most of the people who come extremely satisfied from the coaching academies at the end of the course, but you hardly show any improvement. Hard fact. Friends, those people who have taken guidance from me, there will be an agreement when I say very emphatically and very critically right on my first day that the aim of the training or the coaching, you may say, or guidance session is to transform, not just to adapt. Unless your weaknesses are reflected well, there will not be any possibility for your improvement. Friends, I take my students as a student, as a learner. I do not repeat. I do not take them to be my customers. Though, my programs are also paid programs. But you are not a customer for me. You are a learner, a student, a pupil. And my job as instructor lies in telling you the truth rather than keeping you in good humor. Friends, how you will transform if you are left always on a happy note? Yes, the advantage of leaving you on a happy note is always for the academy. You are temporarily happy and you are sharing your happiness with your parents, with your friends, with your classmates. This becomes a grape wine for the reputation of the academy. But in the bargain, the loss is yours. The gain is theirs and loss is yours. Friends, if you really want to improve, please go to some person who can truthfully reflect you, who can tell you what all improvement is needed and what is the difference between the cup and the lip. Friends, I repeat here that I will take you for a student. I will take you for a learner who has got a lot of scope for learning and improvement to stimulate your growth or improvement. I'll give you the strategy in my dossier assessment and counseling program. Friends, remember, a bitter pill to swallow is always better than a sweet pill to enjoy. The sweetness of the pill that is given to you at the moment is short-lived. Where is the bitterness of the truth? It is just temporary, but its effect is permanent. The improvement as a reaction to this bitterness will certainly be something important for the lifelong. Young friends, I am really thankful to you from the core of my heart that you have expressed a lot of faith and trust in me, in my methodology, in the endowment program, which is still running, which is in continuation. For psych mentorship, dosier evaluation and detailed feedback and also to get your personal strategy on SSB preparation, you may contact me. I am Group Captain A.K. Srivastava. Once again, I am giving my introduction to you, name to you. A postgraduate in psychology and a person who has been in the selection system, training system, mentorship for a very, very long time. Numbers are mentioned here, friends. You are most welcome to contact me. And before I sign off today, here I would like to make an announcement that the enrollment process 
is open for the second batch of September. That will start. The batch will start on 16th of September. And the contact numbers and the handle of Telegram is mentioned here. You are most welcome to contact me. Some people, they have already poured in and a WhatsApp group has been already made for such people. Young friends, please join me for a true teaching learning experience in which you will be a student and I will be a teacher. Thank you very much. God bless you. Have a nice day.